you finally started thinking about it, huh? This would be a sick job. Now I know what you're thinking is you got a long way to go and you're not wrong, but I will say you're not that far away from me. Seriously. It snowballed really fast. I've seen videos on this and that shit is just so boring. Don't mean I can't try my best. You've definitely seen me on the internet somewhere, probably at this point. This ain't no stiff trades bullshit. There's so much stuff I can't talk about onto the platforms because it just put me in a box. They'll shadow ban me. Thankfully, I came from TikTok, so I like to make my videos short, informative, and right to the fucking point. If you haven't already started to learn and absorb information from other creators and other people, go watch another video. You ain't ready for this. Just like any other major niche or career, you need to go to college. And there's people like me that do have a quote unquote college to put you through. My shit's like Harvard though. Get a mentor and absorb and take as much advantage as you possibly can of them. You're going to quadruple the speed it takes for you to do this and obviously make a lot more money a lot faster. And you're going to save a lot of money by not doing stupid shit and blowing your entire net worth at 17. Newsflash, futures, options, and forex, they all work. They're all great. Whatever works for you, I don't care. I started with options, I made a bunch of money with options, took it out, and now I trade futures only, and now I have a million in funded accounts. There'll be a time where you know you're ready to start trading full time. At the very, very minimum, you should be making like 1500 a week, which is very achievable. You need to calculate your finances, how much you usually spend, and I'd say probably triple that. Now, the secret here is you walk into this. This is where you seriously start trading part time. You partner trading and obviously working your job, and you start to stack up. It's very hard to depend on this market sometimes. I would look to have a lot saved up on the back end just in case the world ends. When I tell you the money is the easiest part, I I promise you the money is the easiest part by far the most important thing is figuring out how you're going to trade on your own a lot of people like to take alerts and that's okay it's great in the beginning but you want to do this yourself right just to give you an example of someone who does this as their job i love to trade supply and demand i've had so many strategies and multiple have worked but i found that this is my favorite thing to trade there's a few things that you have to make sure you're doing before you start finding a way to trade just because you see me doing this does not mean you need to do it, it might work for you it might not for me, it's fantastic. You need to walk with what you think first, okay? I get that I'm up here on this screen and I'm telling you how to do something, but your judgment is always first. I took two trades today, as you can see. Both were amazing, really zero drawdown. I would look to be hitting at over a 70% clip on your trades in order for you to be doing this full time. That's a high number and sometimes I don't even do that. In my Discord, we have personal trade trackers that you can track your trades with. It gives you every statistic that you would possibly need. There's a lot of back-end analysis that you need to take on your trades to understand what am I doing wrong and what do I need to correct to make sure that I can hit at the highest rate I possibly can. Month by month, analyze what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. There's so much self-critiquing and self-discipline that that's the number one reason why I don't think enough people do this is because it's very hard to hold yourself accountable constantly because there's no boss. There's nobody telling me what I need to and not to do. That's why I really think it's important that you have a mentor because even I struggle with that. Smart money concepts, supply and demand, I don't give a damn. There is no possibility of you doing this without having a trading strategy. If you want this to be your job, you got to treat it like a job. You being the boss now, you need to hold yourself accountable. There's a routine that needs to be in place for you. Because I already do this, I should probably just give you mine. News sucks. Saturday, Sunday, because we all know we got it off. We enjoyed a week. Games, baby sunday night go on forex factory see what the news is for the next coming week understand what times you are allowed to trade in the mornings 9 30 a.m is when the market opens for me florida baby sometimes i have to wait till 9 45 and stop at 10 30 sometimes it's 10 to 11 30 sometimes it's 10 to 11 most of the time it's 9 30 to 10 30 but we have to avoid the news you obviously got to wake up i would recommend at least two hours before the market opens you got to give yourself some time to wake up and warm up first you got to eat now we start trading obviously realistically that's it i go on to make videos or work out but again, that's where you can mold that schedule yourself. But you need to stay productive, obviously. Maybe you can go back and recap your trades or just go enjoy your day. That's probably my favorite part about this is, I mean, the money's great, obviously, but the flexibility and just the openness is what I've always wanted. You're starting to notice everything's really good about this until you lose your entire life savings, which that's why you're here. Don't do that. I keep saying most important, but this is probably the most important thing, making the money. The next part, you'll kind of understand more of how easy this is. Let me reiterate easy. It's very hard. When I tell you scaling the money is the easiest part, I genuinely mean it. If you consistently backtest your strategy, perfect it, surround yourself with the right people, People, stay disciplined and obviously just stay motivated with this stuff you're gonna get to this point the distance from making like a hundred a day to a thousand from going from a thousand to making like three four thousand a day was way faster there's so many things in place that you can scale your account with now that it's just like bro whoa you need to be ready for that because you're gonna be very emotional once you start making a lot of money and you will fail y'all know i'm a futures guy nq i like to target 10 points majority of the time get in get out make enough money for the day i've started to become very content but after a lot of reflection and a lot of over trading and losing like with even making a thousand bucks in a day the fact that i just made a thousand bucks in a day is so crazy still i ain't forget my roots there's a lot of things you need to sacrifice when you start to do this full time one of those things you have to be is being more conservative you got rent you got food you got everything on the line you can't fuck around with it 
Get it in your head. This is a job. When you're the boss, you don't get fired. You just lose everything. It's time for you to get funded. When I found out about this and took it more seriously, bro, oh my God. This is how I scaled up from a thousand a day to like four or five thousand in less than uh, two or three months. Mind you, at this point, I've already had two plus years of options trading and I already know how to trade. Is the expansion is very simple. Funded accounts bring a new face in the game where you literally have the opportunity to control millions of dollars and take that money out. I have over a million in funded accounts. Am I a millionaire? No. But you know how easy it is to pull a couple thousand a day off a million dollars? Like literally five points and then Q could set me off for the day. It's, it's to the point where I only have to take two to three trades a week and comfortably survive. And I mean, like I could go fly anywhere I want right now, go buy a bunch of stupid shit, come back here and buy more stupid shit here and be comfortable. Passing funded accounts is super hard. I actually passed one yesterday in a day, funny enough. <laughs> Ironically, I just announced today in my Discord, we're doing like a two month funded account acceleration program. But yes, we already provide you with so much information and so much value. But obviously I wanna to continue to grow with you. Two months ago, I had zero in funded accounts. Now I have over a million. I did this very quickly. Like I said, once you know how to trade, it's very simple. It's like clot words to the boy. In there, I'm gonna teach you everything, how to go from zero to over a million in funded accounts and the right way to do it. I'm handing the sauce, I don't even care. Pause. Focus on getting the money away to prepare yourself to take this jump. This is not a fucking game. If you're ready to take that step, you need to be very consistent and very confident with how you trade and the money you make. That's why you need to fucking like and subscribe so I can wire it into your brain. Till next time.